Welcome everyone to my first unboxing video. Today, I'll be unboxing the Star Wars Vintage Galaxy's Edge Millennium Falcon. Now, I bought this at Target online and I've already opened the top of the package. And actually I already took it out and then I put it back in to make an unboxing video. The price of this Millennium Falcon, $399.99 at Target. However, I happen to have a 25% off coupon that I was able to use using the Target Red Circle app. So that's minus $100. And I sold my early 2000s Millennium Falcon for $100. So let's subtract another $100 off as a trade-in. And then I had my 5% off for using my Target Red card. So the final price was around $200. I'll show you a little bit of the, well, the back looks just like the front, so no, nothing to show there. Here it is, the Millennium Falcon, Galaxy's Edge version. All right, let's open her up. I've actually already opened the tape here and it comes in a nice protective casing. And here we are. So we have the two front pieces of the Falcon up top. And if we open the top packaging, this thing is massive. Look how huge it is. And before I even put it together, let me just compare the size of this 2020 Millennium Falcon with the 1979 Millennium Falcon. Look how huge this 2020 version is. Let's take a look on the inside before we even take out, oh, the inside's over here, I forget. Whereas the older Millennium Falcon, you open the back. The newer Millennium Falcon, you open it from the front. Look how nice this shape is. We have one of the front panels here and another front panel there. And here we have the inside of the Falcon, which takes up the first half of the circle. Over on this side, this is where a lot of the action within the stories of the Star Wars takes place. You can see the chessboard here. This Millennium Falcon also has chess pieces, the little monster figures that were seen in the original Star Wars movie as well. We can recreate a scene in which Chewbacca is playing chess with someone. And this is basically the area where Luke was practicing his lightsaber skills in the first Star Wars movie. This Millennium Falcon also includes a Jedi training sphere. So you can recreate the scene in the original Star Wars movie where Luke Skywalker is training to become a Jedi. The original 1979 Millennium Falcon also had a training sphere and that training sphere was lost when the 79 Falcon was reissued in the early 2000s. But this 2020 version, as you can see, they re-included the training sphere. And so you can recreate that scene. Now the Luke Skywalker I'm using obviously is not the Kenner version action figure. It's actually the Disney Infinity figurine from the video game. Let's check out the cockpit. You open the cockpit up, there are four seats. You have the pilot, co-pilot seats, as well as the two seats in the back, which is really big compared to the original cockpit where when you open this up, there's only room for two figures. And of course it doesn't look quite like in the movies. So they really did a nice job because you can even see a door to the cockpit. And you can imagine that the hallway runs from the cockpit out through to the rest of the ship right here. So this is really big. This is nice. And the doors on this side open up to reveal an inner chamber. And this looks to be a medical bay where 
someone injured might lie down. All right, and of course we have the gun turret in here. This is where a gunner will sit inside. And after I attach the gun to the top part of the Falcon, then we'll have, oh, there's a gunner on the bottom part too. That's what the old Falcon didn't have. Let's see if I can snap on these pieces. All right, so the box says that this Falcon comes with both versions of the radar dish, the original trilogy as well as the new sequel trilogy. Let's first use the original radar dish. And we'll snap on one of these guns. There we go. Oh, and there's a lever on the side over here which moves the guns. We also have this extra escape vehicle, which looks like it would go over here. Let's see, does it go this way? There we go. And there are, of course, several little porgs. It looks like a bag of six porgs to reflect the sequel trilogy. And of course, we have the landing gear that can be attached to the bottom of the ship. Oh, and Chewbacca's gun, as well as missiles that can be used to fire out of the Millennium Falcon. All right, so if we compare the insides of the 2020 Millennium Falcon with the inside of the 1979 Falcon, there's quite a difference in terms of detail. So in the 79 Falcon, we have a paper cardboard backing that looks like computer panels. The gun turret is in the middle. This is where the chest table would be, but I've misplaced my chest table. And the inside panel where Luke would be training. Compare that to the 2020 Falcon. There is a lot more detail. I haven't opened the ramp yet, but this is where everyone would be coming up the ramp. They could come through that entryway. And the detail of the seating with the chess table looks very much like in the movies. We also have two action figures. We have Chewbacca, as well as Honda Onaka. Hondo is a major figure within the Smuggler's Run ride at Disneyland, which of course this Millennium Falcon version is based off of. The 2020 version of the Millennium Falcon comes with two ground panels, unlike the original 1979 version that only had one hidden section. If we take a look at the right side first, you can see there's a small panel that we can open up, but it's not big enough to fit a figure. We can't fit Hondo in there, but we can put the porks in there for storage. Let's take a look at the left side panel. Now this hidden panel is where the figures in the original movie hid when the Millennium Falcon was being captured by the Death Star. Chewbacca definitely fits inside and we can cover him up with the panel and pretend that he's hiding from stormtroopers. So you can see there's a huge difference. And here we have the stickers that come along with the Millennium Falcon. I haven't stuck them on yet, but when I do, they're really going to look cool. They're really going to add more details to this Falcon.
And that is the new Legacy Millennium Falcon. The paint job is really nice. It looks very detailed. I'll just temporarily put this there. And uh, so let me just temporarily cover this. Now we have the gun in place and we have the radar dish in place. Again, a comparison size-wise of the 2020 Legacy Smuggler's Run Falcon with the 1979 Falcon. You can see there's this huge size difference where the 2020 cockpit, you can potentially put in four figures. If I were to try to put the newer Chewbacca in the old cockpit, I don't think he fits. His legs wouldn't fit into this older cockpit, which was one of my complaints about the older Falcon. So I'm really happy with this newer Legacy Falcon. And since Disneyland is currently closed, I haven't had a chance to ride the new Smuggler's Run ride. I am content with using this. And thanks for watching.